Okay, so about five years ago, I started this channel. I started Cody Academy. And originally, the reason for it was to help people. Every time I had an issue or I ran into a problem, I was trying something that I you know, didn't know anything about. I would always go on YouTube and I would find a video that would help me out. And so I kind of wanted to give back and help other people. So, and so I started off doing basically what I'm doing now, building things. Whenever I had to build something or if I wanted something or if I needed something, I would build it, record it, throw it up for people to be able to see. That way, maybe, you know, they can get inspiration off of it. Maybe they were trying to do it themselves and struggling and couldn't figure out, or maybe they just wanted to watch me build something. They didn't want to build it themselves. They just want to watch somebody build it. You know, for whatever reason, um, I was doing build videos. The problem with the build videos, though, is they take a long time to make. So whenever I build something, usually it takes anywhere from a few days to a week, maybe even longer to build it. I also have to film it during the process, which slows it down as well. Then it's going to take a couple of days to take all of that film and break it down into a video. So it takes a long time to kind of make these vi those videos, those build videos. So I was also doing Cody videos. Um, Cody, if you're not familiar with it, is a streaming app. And so basically I was doing videos showing people how to get um, free TV shows and stuff like that. And in the very beginning, there wasn't any issues. Um, in the very beginning, I would upload my videos because the part of the reason for me doing the Cody videos is because the build videos took so long, I could do a Cody video in a couple of hours. So that would allow me to be able to consistently upload, not to mention that most of my views and subscribers were coming from those Cody videos themselves. So in the beginning, everything's great. Probably about two years in, maybe longer. Um, I think it's about two years in. Uh, YouTube basically told me that my videos will still be watched. People, people can see my videos, but I won't be able to monetize them. I won't be able to make any money off of them, which I thought was fine because the whole reason for YouTube wasn't really to make money to begin with. It was to help people. That's number one. Number two, it's still helping me because a lot of I was getting a lot of views from those Cody videos and I was getting a lot of subscribers from those Cody videos. So even though I wasn't able to monetize from them, it was still drawing a lot of eyes onto my channel. So I was fine with not not monetizing and making money off of it. So that went on for a little while. And then I was I think I I believe I posted a Cody video and I was watching it for like i don't know i think like a day later maybe a day or two later after i post it i kind of went to check on it to see how it was doing and it was doing about average what most of my cody videos were doing at that time a few thousand views within a couple of hours so a day or two goes by and i check it again and it's gone i can't find it so then i start looking through all of my videos and I noticed that there's other videos too. I probably had anywhere from 30 to 40 Cody videos. Um, and so I noticed that most of them were still there, but I did notice that there were a few missing. There was like a handful or so missing. I, and so I realized that videos are missing. I think, I believe I tried to upload another Cody video and it was immediately taken down. So I know I kind of realized then that even if I made a Cody video and uploaded it, that YouTube would just take it down. So I stopped making Cody videos, but I still had all of my Cody videos that I had previously made. And then, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit of time goes by and I check my YouTube studios and I noticed that all of my Cody videos, I, I want to say they had a red outline around them. And I don't remember exactly what it was, but basically YouTube told me like, you know, you got a strike for, um, you know, going for community guidelines. So they gave me a strike against my channel. And then they basically told me that I can keep my videos, my Cody videos, but they would only be set to private. 
So the only one that will be able to view them is me, which I'm not going to watch my own videos. Not to say that I don't watch my own videos because I do, but I don't watch my videos to get entertainment out of them. I get, I watch my videos to see where I messed up and how I can make it better. Um, so having all those set to private is pretty much pointless. So I just deleted them. If, if nobody's going to see them, then there's no point of having them up. So I just deleted them. And so now where does that leave me? Well, for a little while now, I have been basically just doing whatever I want to do, really. Um, I'm doing whatever I'm, I want to do, trying to find a happy balance between what you guys want to see and what I would like to do. So really, I'm just kind of trying to rebuild this channel, I guess you could say. Um, I have been doing the DIY and building thing the entire time. I haven't stopped doing that. But like I said, the Cody, the Cody videos were pretty much like the backbone of this channel. So losing those Cody videos, pretty much I lost the channel in a, in a way. Um, I have been trying to do other different things to see what people like and what they don't like. And that's where I'm at now. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what, what can I do content wise that can help people and also you guys would like to watch. So that's where I'm at now. So that's my story, guys.